The reason chemistry or the chemical industry is so important is it enables everything we do from your iPhone to taking a flight to driving your car. Uh, so much of what we do day to day depends on chemistry. So much of what we would like to do in the future in a more sustainable world also depends on chemistry. So it's critical for today, but it's critical for the future. Kimura's mission is really to enable uh, a better living standard for everyone on the planet through the power of our chemistry. We believe we can shape the future through uh, the power of our chemistry in bringing solutions to some of the world's toughest challenges. If you think about carbon and what we now know, I mean, if you look back decades ago, we just didn't realize what carbon was doing to the environment. And now that we have the science to understand how it's impacted climate and climate change, we realize that all of us need to contribute to doing something different, and chemical companies can play a big part in that. So for Comores, it's really important for us to be thinking about what types of products and solutions we bring to market, what the carbon impact would look like, and how we can reduce it for other people as well. We're excited about our contribution to provide those chemistries that can help decarbonize uh, the world, whether it's from green hydrogen to renewable energy to battery storage, but also technology, you know, 5G, uh, data warehouses. That's how chemistry solves some of these world's megatrends and some of the greatest challenges that we have facing us today as a global society. We aim to be the world's best at harnessing the power of chemistry to improve the lives of people everywhere. So the development process for all of our products, whether it's you know, Teflon fluoropolymers or Viton fluoroelastomers, our Crytox lubricants, our Nafion uh, ion exchange membranes, is really the same. And we have a very rigorous process that we go through. There's five stages. It's a stage-gated process. So in order to advance from one stage to another, you have to actually meet certain criteria. So we go from a concept to a candidate to a prototype to customer validation, and then we launch products. And for all four, first four uh, stages of that process, it's absolutely critical that we pass the sustainability hurdle. We absolutely will not launch a product unless we can say it's sustainable. You look at the properties of fluoropolymers for fluoroelastomers, things like um, insulation properties, electrical insulation, resistance to temperature, um, compatibility with chem other chemistries. You know, these are features that you know, only these fluoropolymers and fluoroelastomers have. And when you start looking at the applications that are gonna make this world more sustainable, whether it's you know, clean energy or connectivity, you know, these are the types of properties that are going to be needed. Option is a suite of products that we have developed as Comores that are the latest in refrigerant technology, intended to be no ozone depletion and low global warming potential refrigerant technology. It's intended to address the climate change and climate policy changes that we've seen recently. It's a balance though, it's about keeping the high performance needs that our customers require and meeting the more sustainable impact that, we're, that the world is demanding. At Comoros, we decided that it was really important to expand access to STEM education to kids and neighborhoods and populations that were historically underrepresented in the chemical industry. And so at Comoros, we started a scholarship program called the Future of Chemistry Scholarship Program, 
Over two years, this program was wildly successful and we were able to sponsor 10 students from the Wilmington area to pursue STEM disciplines at historically black colleges and universities. This program had such an impact on our community that we then decided that we could do so much more with partnership as an industry than we could ever do by ourselves. So we took this idea to the American Chemistry Council and we were able to get the entire support of the industry behind the Future of STEM Scholars Initiative. So what started off as the Future of Chemistry Scholarship and just a single company became the Future of STEM Scholars Initiative, which is now an industry-wide initiative that sponsors 150 scholars will receive support from the Future of STEM Scholars Initiative. But I think the part that's most exciting for me is the impact that FOSSI is having in the communities where this program is being offered. We see a new level of engagement between businesses and local community. We see the students showing up excited. We see the students asking for STEM opportunities and feeling like they're really a part of this emerging future and emerging trends that are happening all around them. They can now see themselves as a part of STEM and as a part of the future. And I think that's the impact that's really most meaningful for me is seeing the light go off in these students' eyes that they really realize that they can be a part of something great. Our vision for the future really is to shape the future of the world through the power of our chemistry. We bring so much to the table from the standpoint of our science, as well as being a force for good in the communities around the world in which our business operates. So that is really our vision in being a force for good and bringing sustainable change into the future.